it's booty day, so yay! It's almost six dollars for this, and this here is almost five. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm currently five weeks out and today I'm feeling extremely overwhelmed. <laughs> I just finished posing practice and I was holding back tears the whole time. I just wanted to cry and cry and cry because there's so many other things that are going on in my life um, right now and around the time that the competition is and it's just making me so stressed. Because I really want to make sure that I'm present and I'm the best version of myself for other people um, during that time, but I still want to be... <laughs> My cousin is calling me. But I still want to be able to um, present the best version of myself as well during this time. And I and I feel like I, I need some time. I need some grace I need to give myself some grace because I'm so critical and so hard on myself. And I do so, 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 so much. So I need to just chill. But there's always a million and one things on my to-do list. So I need to tackle things slowly and uh, understand that like how I'm feeling right now is okay. It's a moment. It's not going to last forever. And then go from there. And I just want to send more positivity out there for the rest of this week and the rest of this vlog. So let's get into that piece. Bye. Okay, so I'm back from the grocery store and I'm going to very quickly show you what I picked up. So, as mentioned, I'm gonna be making banana bread for Thanksgiving, so I picked up some bananas. I actually need to write these really quickly and I heard that if you put them in a banana, <laughs> I heard that if you put the bananas in a brown paper bag, they write quicker, but I actually don't have that and apparently plastic bags will cause too much moisture. So I think I'm just gonna wrap them in some cloth and I'll see if that works. I have cheesecloth. Maybe I'll try that. I also picked up some oats and some oat flour. Usually I would never buy oat flour because it's actually pretty expensive. It's almost $6 for this. And this here is almost five. And the only reason I picked this up is because I end up grinding this all the time and end up using all of my whole oats to make fine oats for all my baking recipes. So I just figured I might as well just buy it separately. So that's why I did that. I also picked up some baking soda and some cornstarch for my baking recipes. I already have enough baking powder, so I didn't need to purchase that. And of course, I picked up some protein sources. We have egg whites and my favorite Greek yogurt. This is the lactose free from Liberté. And my little swimmies. I love my little swimmies. My shrimp are on sale, so I made sure to pick these up. This brand is pretty cool. They make some juicy shrimp. So if you ever see uh, this uh, Marina Del Rey brand, pick it up because it's good. Anyways, I have to go and do my check-in for my coach. So I'm going to go and take my photos, do my weigh-in, do my measurements, and hopefully something has changed. Because this week and all this stress hopefully amounted to something on the scale or measurement wise. Fingers crossed, <laughs> but we'll see how things go because again, I am inflamed. I need to sleep. Bye. <laughs> Quick check and update, no crazy changes. My waist and my hips are the same. I'm just looking a little bit tighter, which is great. We're at my favorite place, AKA the nail salon. I'm kidding, this is my second favorite place next to the gym. My girl Maya is hooking me up as usual. I can't wait for you to see what this set looks like. It's something different, but it's cute. And honestly, I was feeling the vibe. 
of this one okay it's it's just very vibey it's different it's dark but it's cute and sassy and a little bit sexy so i'll let you see what she does yes laid and slayed she even oils on my cuticles i love this bomb good morning friends today i'm at the gym i'm about to start my cardio i'm gonna take you through a glute and hamstring workout because it's been a while and i'm super excited to just show you some things that i've been working on and it's booty day so yay <laughs> Um, obviously it's cardio, so I'm going to be watching some new shows. Lately I've been watching The Blink Empire. It's kind of bad, but it's one of those shows that it's so bad that it's so good. And I love that Kane always brings a drama, so I'm super excited to catch up on that. And I love me some Kevin. It's hilarious. So yeah, can't wait to watch and see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, hello, welcome to my gym. So today I started off with sumo squats using a kettlebell. Try to poke out your booty so the butt wink isn't too bad. After this, I moved on to B stance hip thrusts. These are killer. You gotta add them to your routine, girls. Next, I moved on to RDLs using the barbell. I love these, it really fires off the glutes. You gotta kick back your butt. And then I did some cable kickbacks. You have to tilt your foot on an angle to really target the glutes. I did the same thing with the abductions as well. Angle out that foot, it's key. And I finally closed everything off with a leg curl. Look at my face, I was dying. Ah! <laughs> I have my calves last. Oh my gosh, my booty looks great in these leggings. Ew. It's time for more posing practice. Not much to say about this one. I'm actually really looking forward to my posing session this week. I can't wait to get some critiques to improve everything that I've been working on. I think I'm looking a lot smoother, which is so nice to see. The flow be flowing. What's up y'all? I wanted to do a quick update with you. I just finished my posing practice. I don't think I ever showed you my heels. They're super cute. They're super scuffed right now and dirty. I definitely have to clean them, but I love them. They're plain, simple, and super nice. This week, week five has been absolutely brutal. It's been extremely tough mentally. I've had a really hard time focusing. I haven't been sleeping. I've been hungry, like in the middle of the night, I'll start looking up food or making different things to prep the next day to kind of give myself some normal normalcy. So I've really been struggling during this time. And now we're also at Thanksgiving. And I feel a bit sad about that because I won't be able to enjoy, you know, the holiday-esque <laughs> meals as normal because I have to have a healthier version of everything but that's okay. I'm definitely gonna show you the banana bread I'm gonna make. I hope it turns out good. It's coming up soon, fingers crossed. Honestly, I never doubt myself at a kitchen. I'm pretty good, so we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just exhausted right now and I'm trying to work things through because there's so much going on and there's so much to focus on, especially for everybody in my age group, you know, the younger millennial side. Sometimes it feels like there's so much doom and gloom with everybody our age when it comes to, you know, inflation and housing and everything. So sometimes it's good to just chill, relax and enjoy the company of your friends and your family. So that's something that I really want to focus on this week. And honestly, <laughs> over the next couple of days is just really being thankful of the loved ones and the people that I have around me, the people that I have supporting me, the people that have checked in on me. Those are the people that matter and those are the things that ultimately matter in this life. And oh my gosh, 
I registered for CPA and <laughs> I started booking some extra things that I need for the show. So I need to book my tanning, my photography, and my glasses, and it's so expensive. So I'm definitely gonna let you know the cost breakdown of bodybuilding because it is an extremely expensive hobby. It's like cycling when you spend six grand on a bike, like it's heavy. It really hits your bank account hard, but it's a passion project. And I feel like anything that you're super passionate about, you will put the money in to get it done, but you do need to have the finances to do a sport like this. That's for damn sure. And honestly, I'm trying to show you the reality of what it's like to be in prep and what it's like to be a first time competitor that's an unsponsored athlete. This is real, this is my life, and I'm taking everything with grace and you should too. So, see ya. Let's get into this banana bread. I started off by mashing together my bananas and then I put that aside. I added in my wet ingredients starting with my pumpkin puree and then I added in my yogurt, Greek lactose free of course. Next I added in my maple syrup. This maple syrup was sugar free. Basically everything in this recipe is sugar free to be honest and then I cracked in two eggs If you want to make this low fat, you can use egg whites instead I've done that too and it tastes just as good and then I mix everything up and add in the mashed bananas Look at me always scraping everything up. Gotta get every last drop And then I mix everything up together one more time and I start with my dry ingredients in another bowl I'm going to put the recipe in the description box, so no need to remember everything, just follow along. And I almost forgot to add in my vanilla, so I did that, started up again, and then I mixed everything together. So you want to make sure that you're folding in the dry ingredients, okay? You do not want to over mix your banana bread. That's when it gets extremely dense and hard, okay? So just fold everything in nicely. Once everything is just combined, you want to add in your chocolate chips next. I used sugar-free chocolate chips here. And then I took my baking tin and sprayed it with some cooking spray and poured the banana bread mixture in and topped it off with some extra chocolate chips. Because why not? <laughs> This is what the finished product looked like, and then I baked it in the oven for about an hour at 350 degrees. I forgot to show you what it looked like when it was done, but everybody loved it, and this is what it looks like sliced up. 